Well, we both know we're not going to agree on that, but I think it's very disingenuous to call it monogamy when it's not monogamy. Well, and the only reason me off camera. That's like me saying that, you know, inside of this room, you don't really need to say it's like anything. It just the, is blank. a statement of fact, right? No, no, it's not because you're creating a false condition as though life is different when you turn on a camera and turn off a camera. I think when I say monogamy, so if you're it is, monogamy it is on it or is off camera, no, 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 I think no. everyone understands. This is right? really important. No, I like where we're at right now. What we're experiencing is that you know what you're doing is wrong. So you have this duality in your mind and in your psyche to make you feel like because you turn on the camera and because you're getting paid, now it's okay. When in actual fact, I'll tell you how we know it's wrong. Would you feel comfortable if your father was watching your OnlyFans and subscribing to it? It, Probably not, no. You would not feel comfortable, and I'll tell you why. That's because in your heart of hearts, in your soul, if you still got one, you know it's wrong. If she bought my products, I'd be thankful. If your mother or father bought your products, you'd be disgusted and ashamed because you know what you're doing is wrong, and the product of what you're doing is bad. First of all, I don't do porn on OnlyFans, so like, don't throw me in that. Okay. But I feel like but it's like, what, point, would, I want, would I want my dad to watch me having sex with someone else, recorded or not? Like, you do things like... You don't want your parents to see everything that you're doing. Did and you understand how do you my know point? To him, like it's a bad thing. Like, how do you know that they're ashamed Real of it? Quick. What? Did you comprehend my point? I understand your point, okay, but good, I mean, I do agree with him. I think, off camera, they are monogamous. Like, it's acting. It's like kissing someone in a movie. Like, okay. Ask you a question. I do think they are in a monogamous relationship. Off you don't camera. do porn on OnlyFans. I don't. What do you do? I do like sexy photos. Yeah. Do sexy photos. Mm -hmm. Nude photos. Maybe, yeah. Okay, here we got a jokester. Here we got a jokester. Okay, you gotta subscribe. Here, I mean, I don't know. You gotta see for yourself. Going back though, what? How do you pitch it to a girl? Like, oh, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. You fuck trying to get this ism. Ism. You trying oh, wait, to get this ism. Butler donated two hundred dollars. <laughs> hey, Mr. Herpsalot. Herpsalot. You did a standard nice. herpes test, which shows nothing. You do a Western blot test. Mm. It will likely come back positive, and you will have to disclose to all future partners. Hashtag filthy. Oh my God. One of these days, Adam, I'll have you on the podcast where the not everyone's trying to it's okay. dogpile you. I'm, I'm, no, no, he's bulletproof. He's bulletproof. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, he's bulletproof. Yeah. 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 You know, would like to have the kind of arrangement you have. Oh, I'm good. I can fight back. I'm okay. Right. Okay. So how do you, con like, what's the pitch to the woman? Okay. How do you make, because most women are going to be like, no, I don't want you. Right. With other Or chicks. they're going to try to force some level of, you know, gender feminists, we're equal, we're the same. So mm. if you do it, I do it. Okay. All right, cool. So the number one foundational piece is selecting the correct woman. I'll give you an example. And we're just going to go, just give me a little bit of time yeah. here. Have you ever cheated before? No, never. No. Would never. they admit it though? Have you? Why? Have you okay. ever cheated before? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever cheated before? You're lying. Have you ever cheated before? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. No, I'll tell you why. No, I will tell you why. I'm not picking on her. I'm gonna tell you why. Why, I'm I'm tell you why. why I? I can read characters very well. Gotcha. Respectful, in other words. There was one person who was not paying attention while he was talking. Who was that? Mm -hmm. That was me. That was you. Yeah. So out of everyone sitting here, why are you the one that's sitting here being disrespectful when he's taking out his time to show you how to best present yourself in front of millions of people? Because I was turning off my alarm. Yeah. And I didn't want to forget to do it later. Sure. I hear you. Because you're a disrespectful person. And you were okay. rude and catty with him after he told you. As a boss, I always look at these things. because I, I was rude and catty with him because I put my phone away. No. I don't think I said anything disrespectful. I mean, I, 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 understand I agree where he was with coming. you. I agree that you think you didn't say anything disrespectful. I agree that you think you weren't being disrespectful because that's your actual nature. So, a person like you who is by nature one who is narcissistic and disregards others, you're the because one that's going to cheat. Phone, because I was on my phone. How were you the only on one? The phone? Out of every, I got two phones right here. I got two phones. Why were you the only Do one? you follow every single fucking rule? Have why you ever you, had a ticket? Well, like, why are you so angry? Like in I'm just, class? You're just angry right now. I think you're now. just as expressive as I am. You're and I angry. think when a woman like kind of like barks back at you, it's an issue. Well, I'm just saying, it's okay. why were I'm, you? I'm like, asking you a question. Why were you the only one out of everyone here? Why was it you that all of a sudden needs to do that right when he's giving us the directions? Because right, because you didn't and care. Didn't, now, so settle. I don't know so, how being on my phone correlates to cheating. That's fucking ridiculous. Like, those are like I high value you. women, right? I hear like, you. Right. Yeah. So, being that you don't have significant income or the ability to offer skills to I don't have a significant more. income. Okay. Gotcha. Are you, why do you go keep ahead. cutting me off? All right. Go ahead. You talk and then I'll, no. I'll respond. Go no, ahead. No, you talk. I'm, I'll go I'm just Can you at least scoot saying. your mic yeah. that way? There you go. go she ahead. wasn't listening to the directions. That's why she didn't know. I'm a bad listener. <laughs> just I'm a bad listener and I'm a cheater. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Do you want to talk now? I just want to make sure you don't interrupt go me. So go, go ahead. I'm good. You can say what you need to say. Wow. See, your brain did. That's a problem. That's why you have to interrupt me while I'm talking. <laughs> I gave you the floor. You didn't want to take it because you don't have any thoughts or anything to say. I do have Here's lots my of point. things to say. And don't worry. I'm not really talking to you. I'm speaking against you as a symbol. Mm -hmm. So don't take personal as a symbol, offense which is to what? it. A symbol of what? A symbol of a declining society where people gotcha. lack values. Mm -hmm. So the point is this. If you had IQ and skills mm -hmm. to offer to the marketplace, gotcha. you can earn a good income. Being that the most valuable thing about you is mm -hmm. something that you never earned. You didn't earn knowledge, you didn't earn skills. It's your breasts that you're paid for and your butthole. So you market that to earn money. Huh? <laughs> hmm? <Gotcha. laughs> okay. So I'm the one with like the least IQ here. Oh, Even no, though I'm, I'm, I do you like might the not least be. amount on OnlyFans. I but surmise. Because, but because I'm the only woman who's barking back at you like I'm this brain dead fucking bimbo who has no, nothing to offer to that's society. That's why. I mean, then what? Then well, why? let's test it. Let's test it real quick. Okay, what's your age? I'm 28, but I'm not testing. Ooh, I'm not doing a test. Uh, you get, okay, you're 28. I'm getting up there. Fans. You're that's right. Amazing. My eggs are drying up. Okay. I'm not going to be fertile. No one's going to want me. I'm not a high okay. value woman. Like, that's what fine. Else? We're not going there. What? Here's where we're going. If you weren't doing OnlyFans, how would you earn a six figure plus income? I you, work at one of the best clubs in Las Vegas. You seem like you're having trouble with English for a second. Tell us. I'm perfectly fine with okay. my English. Go on. I'm a little riled up. Yes. But no, I did. I'm a little thrown off okay. by you attacking me because I think a lot of these other That's girls. That's because and nothing, people and never nothing, address and I, you. And I respect. People like, never address you directly. Here. And do you mind answering the question I asked you? What is the question? Okay, I'll say it one more time. What skills do you have that would help you earn a six figure plus income at age 28? You're right, nothing. There's nothing that I, there's no skills that I have at all. There's nothing, but, but there's, no, no, there's no skills. No, right. you're right. Because you're a cocktail server right. in Las Vegas. Yeah. Right? And there's nothing else yes. that I have to offer. And you, she's trying to play it off right now, and that's a, that's a strategy. Very nice. What's the strategy? Tell uh, us. But Please. the fact is, Doctor. I live in Las Vegas. I, I've seen your type many times. Generally, they're younger. Gotcha. But the point you're is, getting this. old, I know, man. You're, you're I'm no, really. Over here. Honestly, they should be firing I hope you. Someone marries me. Yeah, no, they should be, I don't know about that, but they should certainly be firing you and get someone of the appropriate age to do such a low level job. Oh, yeah. But the point is this. You, why are you opening your mouth wide like that? It's not time. She, <laughs> Bring I the think, camera I, out. She's ready. I think she can be shocked. She can do whatever she wants. She's fine. But, but here's the point. You're currently a cocktail server, mm -hmm. which consists of, hey, I'll have a Jack and Coke. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you walk away, tell someone else Jack and Coke. Mm -hmm. They hand you a Jack and Coke. You come back and bring it back to me mm -hmm. and hope that I would give you a good tip. Mm -hmm. That's your skill set. Mm -hmm. And what about it? It's a hard work. And what about it? It's a hard <laughs> right. work. And what about yeah. it? Yeah, there is no skill set is the point, which is to say if I took your brain and placed your brain into a man's body, you would be in poverty. Mm. You caught me. Because you're brainless. Oh, Carrying on. You're right, yeah. I'm just good for nothing. Yep, you caught me. No, you are good for something. That's why you have OnlyFans. And that's my point is that oh, you're that's what you're good right for. And I, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's just that we I think we're, you are trying to be rude. No, I'm just being I honest. Do, I mean, do, do you even yeah, know, know who I nice. am as a person? I mean, before, yeah. like, throwing these insults that I'm just this brain dead avoid fucking woman who has nothing what? to I think offer. should avoid ad hominem. But is it That's ad hominem when you actually, there were some, but my over... Ah, do you, I think that, do you even know me? And you're only you, calling me brainless because I'm the only one responding to you. You know what I think? You have him a little bit upset. Every girl sitting on this side of the table earns more money than him. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> he's an imposter. He he's been outed in the past. And he's for, mad about it. He basically he's warps Honestly, as a rich guy on the internet. It would mean nothing. I think we all are in kind of an agreement that we don't really want to sit here and listen to someone who's basically a scam artist tell us what's wrong exactly. with our yeah, lives. This what, is what, amazing. What do you do? For, do, you do so for I'm amazing. Amazing. How do you make on the edge of what walking out, Brian. I'm gonna be totally right. I, I'm, I'm, and I don't want, I'm not walking out on like a climate model. I just don't want to listen to a scam artist tell me what's wrong with our lives. You can Google my name. You can Google my name right now. Does anyone know this guy's name? I heard, exhilarated. I hurt your feelings earlier, and you, you didn't hurt my feelings at all. It's feelings just you're trying to and do this whole, whole moral superiority thing, and it's not working the whole because chat you're is broke. Your feelings. The whole you're actually is. broke. Here's the funny <laughs> guys, thing. Guys, I'm guys, just guys, being guys. real with wait, you. Wait, wait, if I on. was actually broke, it literally would mean nothing to me. Then if, then if, why did you if do an NFT scam on your fans for like four hundred dollars? Silly checkmate. This guy's a scammer.
Wait, wait, guys, guys, guys. Is that a job I think I'm going to leave, I, I, and if any I, I, girls want to leave wait, with me, I, 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 I'll oh, be happy to take you with me. It's wait, not stop, a rage stop, quit. It's just quitting. You're not on the level He's of me or any line. of in these the girls. Girl. No, no, I'm rage quitting. Guys, 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 Aww. hold on. Let's just take a little pause I didn't mean to make him rage quit. I'm done, Brian. I just don't want to listen to this guy anymore, and I feel like I might do something extreme if I were to stick around. When I first walked in, I said, I might have to polish that milk. When I saw you downstairs, I said, do you want the fade? And you said, no. Oh. See what you When I first did? walked in, I said, Do you Thanks want the fade? You said no. We could have took care of that before the show started. Do you, do you guys have like some pre existing beef or something? <laughs> when I came in said. downstairs, the first thing I said when I saw him, I said, Do you need that fade? Oh, I didn't know you guys had like. Yeah, as a... soon as I walked up, I said, Do you need that fade? And he said, No, it's Can just content. This guy? Oh, but I mean, like, did you guys have like a previous. Yeah, Wait, because what, I that? went on No Jumper. He waited until I left the state of California and then he started talking crazy. And I said, If you had an issue with Marquette Devon Burton, you could have said that to me when I was right there in your studio. Like, you don't have to wait oh, until I leave. Did you do an episode with him? On the and then he DM'd me on Instagram, like, hey, bro, you, we got to, like, do a show when you come back. It's like wait, your phone. Wait, is she, are you leaving? Oh, what? Wow. I'm just really what? Nobody wants no, to No, I'm the super uh, girl. Wow. Yeah, because you're a fucking dick and you're an idiot. She is angry. She wants her clout. <sighs> she has a tear in her eye. That's wild. She I believe in you to get him back. In yeah, Everybody yeah. wants no, You okay. set this up. For the record, when Brian invited me, you said it would be Marquette. Seven Chicks Dating Podcast. Then yeah. today, when I was leaving my hotel, someone texted and said, Adam22 will be there. I'm very straightforward. I'm the same person, online and offline. And he was talking reckless. That's why when I first saw him, I didn't be phony. I walked straight up to mm. him. I said, do you want that fade? He declined the fade. Cool. Let's do the content. But he was not supposed to be here. You, you guys didn't tell me he was here until I had already spent a tremendous amount of money, got out here, okay. and I was on my way. I did not... I had no idea that I don't watch his podcast on frequently. I didn't know that you guys had any issues whatsoever. I don't I'm have an issue. Pretty. I don't have an issue because for me, okay. it's like when I saw you outside and I said, do you want that fade? And you declined the fade. You mean Adam? Adam, right. Yeah, he declines the fade. Then there's no issue. It's just like, let's handle the business. Yeah, I didn't know and that And it was... seems like he got emotional. I don't know why he's so angry. Okay. Because he said there was no, no problem. He said it's content. Why not do the content? Okay. Yeah, he has his feelings hurt. I think it's just like he feels ashamed about what he's doing. Okay. It, it hurt his feelings. Like, he, like, makes up something about me. I didn't get, like, all emotional. Like, oh, my God, you, like, it doesn't bother me. It's like but, silliness. But being fully up yeah. front, I had no idea that I, I guess he made a, I don't Have believe I don't believe that, but I'm not bothered by it. I still showed up. No, I'm right. I'm yeah. being totally honest. And everyone like, else drove know. here. I flew here, right? Sure. I flew so, here too, but oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Don't include me. I mean, regardless if you flew here or drove here, like no, it a, was still like literally no, a seven-hour drive. No, no, I'm not saying that there's anything <laughs> wrong. The reason I said that is because the difference between a man flying here and driving here is what you can bring with you. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you right. can bring more stuff. Right, I get it. I flew here, and there's, I couldn't even, you can't even fly. There's not a private opportunity to fly into Santa Barbara that I could find. No, you can fly like Southwest. It's fine. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I had to fly commercial here. Yeah, that's fine. So there's a difference between what you can bring and what you can't bring. So I walked into a situation knowing I'm dealing with someone that I have a beef with, right, where he drove here and I flew here. You, are you catching on? No, yeah, it's fine. No, it's not fine. really, I'm because, sure I mean, regardless, so, we all, all took good. time to be here. Have cool. you been on this show before? I went on No Jumper. And I didn't know. Okay. I'm, yeah. I mean, I didn't know that there was a beef between Honestly, you Honestly, once I ask you, do you want the fade, and you say no, to me, there's no beef. He said, it's just, let's just do the content. I said, fantastic, let's just do the content. I didn't expect him to get emotional. I mean, maybe he didn't want beef right before the show, because it could drag out. No, because if it's beef, then it is beef, right? So, like, the okay, thing fair, is, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. yeah, if it's beef, then, like, let's get it in. Because, like, if he's saying what's true about his net worth, he okay, doesn't well, need the money. let's say you guys did fight. Then it'd be, like, weird. You guys sitting across the table from no, each other No, it after. wouldn't. After that, it wouldn't. One of us. I mean, probably I'm both of us. So maybe I'm probably both of that. us wouldn't be here, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. like, he'd be in the hospital and I'd be on my way elsewhere, you know? Okay. So, yeah. Does he have, like, at least a foot on you? What do you mean? Like he's taller. He's like. Have you seen what? him? Yes. You have you seen the same him? Size? Oh my god. I don't know, man. We were all standing oh, in a circle. Let's not fight, though. We're not. We're not. No down. violence. Yeah. No violence. Is she coming back or? Yeah, she is. is Adam coming back? Um. Well, 
I have no... Yeah, I know, that's crazy. That has never happened on the show you before? You never had the supervillain on the show before. Is that you? The supervillain, the warrior king. Okay. Yeah, What's your supervillain name? Apparently. Okay. The saint in the center, yeah. If I had known that there was some beef between you guys, I would have scheduled you guys on different I'm, days. I'm Adam not was buying kinda... that because you told me when you invited me on that it would be me and seven chicks. And to bring Adam... No, no, well, let me make something clear. For the vast majority of the guests we bring on, we don't disclose who the other guests are. We're going to okay. have Charlie Kirk here tonight. Cool. And that's what precipitated me wanting to bring Adam on. But uh, I'm not okay. privy to the beef that okay. you and Adam had. Dollars. Fair enough. Mr. Herpes had no problem with Mr. Devon. That's a smoke screen. Uh oh. This is about herpes, <laughs> genital herpes. Oh He's a play grat, patient zero. And Brian, Damn. you need to wash yourself in bleach. It's airborne. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really, we don't Fair disclose enough. any of the guests and... Okay, but at the end of the day, it's just the sword of truth is sharp. If there was earlier, you guys heard Adam say, you cannot hurt my feelings. He literally said that and then his feelings got hurt and then he ran off. And okay. he's in the podcast game. I saw in his podcast, he set up a 19 year old kid, a little Kelpie to get well, punched here. out. Let's try to bring it back to the actual <laughs> dating talk, okay? Yeah. Adam's left. Fair enough. Oh, she's coming back. So why don't we get rid of that microphone? Uh, Devon yeah. Jackson donated $200. It's while Adam gets more triggered at a man speaking words to him than another man breaking his wife's back and Ooh. finishing in Jervis Casinets. What a time to be alive. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, Davon Jackson, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, she she just in the bathroom. Adam is an MMA guy, and he would have wrecked bargain basement shaft. Okay, welcome to the whatever podcast, guys, where that's always uh, something interesting going on. Let me read a couple of the other chats here while we get everything adjusted here, guys. Question for the entire panel. Do y'all think the average man is less respectable than the average OF prawn woman? Do you think the average man is less respectable? Well, what's the definition of an average man? Respectable than the average OF prawn woman. Definition of an average man. An average man in terms of income, or like, what are we referring to? Probably, just probably, probably the average question. guy you see when you walk down the street, just a regular guy you I see. I mean, I wouldn't be able to say because I don't know the person. It would just agree. depend on the person. Okay. <laughs> but I think as a whole, probably OnlyFans girls are probably less respected or looked at a little bit more negatively. Well, okay. definitely. Um, I, I do OnlyFans. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, like, you know, the stigma of, like, being an OnlyFans girl and yeah, being no, a sex worker. Yeah, no, because if I just yeah, flat sure. out would say, like, yeah, I do OnlyFans, like, people aren't really going to respect that. Yeah. They have to get to know you as a whole and all yeah. that. I agree. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else <laughs> on this? Okay. Oh, my God, bro. The chats are just going <laughs> to focus entirely, <laughs> entirely on this Yo. the entire show. Okay, I'll read it. Yo, meta level. Saint talks like... Ch Shang Sung in MK1. Oh my God, guys! Oh Slimy I'm, snakes oil. I'll let snake oil sells me. Okay. Who sneak disses and is condescending for no reason? Factually wrong, manipulative, and is everything wrong with toxic strong personalities? I may Very have good. to second that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, we. Oh yeah. One man, five hundred and forty donated two hundred dollars. Brian, will you ever play music? Singing High Road by Cults. Lots of brothers died to this thing. Hope you are pro recovery. <laughs> Bone Man 538. Oh, those words are so keep funny going. to me. Yo, uh, Bone Man, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, good to see you uh, back in it's the so uh, chat. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Morning. Isn't that a copyright thing? You can't play music, right? Just moving forward for everybody. I know we had a couple heated moments here. I would like everyone to, if we can, let's avoid any sort of name calling or insulting sure. anybody but let's just I have agree. a good let's have a fair let's enough treat, yeah let's have fun let's have fun let's have fun let's have fun can we have fun can we have fun you tell us can we have fun you can we yes yes we can disagree with you on that hold on hold on hold on let's get this back on track which of you home wreckers claim to be feminist what do you offer in a relationship besides oh sex and a bad attitude <laughs> nothing I sure tonight, eh? the only one who wants to take care of me there you go i have nothing to offer brain dead just, just letting nothing. you know that right now good good talk like fake tips. Okay. That's my thank answer? you or do we all agree we're all good for nothing, we're all good for nothing. Yep, just okay, nothing for nothing nothing <laughs>
you can't to attack us if we already say what do you have to offer oh, as a I wife have to offer? yes well actually i like to serve my husband i'm a mother which is the most fulfilling thing i've ever done in my life mm -hmm. and i've never been a feminist i've always been very conservative but i did used to ascribe to the kind of career like boss babe lifestyle where i used to never want to get married i did have a boyfriend for three to four years he said he wanted to marry me i told him don't propose to me because I'd never wanted to marry him, mostly because he just was very not ambitious. And as a woman, you kind of want a man that's more ambitious mm -hmm. than you. Like, exactly. yeah. I did love him at first, or I think I, I thought I did, but then over time, I was way more ambitious than him, so I just wasn't attracted to him. But I was an atheist in my past life, and I'm now a Christian, and I've realized that you know I used to want to be prioritize a career, but I can promise you girls that the best thing you can do is be a homemaker, serve your husband, raise a child. And I know it sounds crazy i know it sounds crazy but i, I used to let not the only fans lifestyle it's actually 70 percent of divorces are initiated by women and 90 percent of those are college educated women so i wouldn't even say being necessarily See? smart and intelligent she was talking about education not iq but. iq though too so i just want to say you have, it's not just that you need to be crazy intelligent there are things that you can offer and there you can turn your life around i didn't always ascribe to being like a trad wife or a wife serving my husband mm -hmm. you can change your life around and you can be happier i promise you and you you guys are worth more than selling your pictures and videos online i say that respectfully no yeah. i get that but i feel like deep down sometimes i'm not saying you girls do but sometimes women do feel like oh the only thing i can offer is quick money with using my body and that's not true you do have a lot to offer the world like a husband and raising kids which is the most important thing you can do especially as a woman we're nurturing creatures mm -hmm. i actually I agree with you on that yeah, yeah, like like eventually down the line, you know, I would love to settle down and I would love to just, you know, like when I am in a relationship, for instance, I will do anything for my man. I will. I love to cook for him. I love to clean. Like I want him to come home, like feeling just like, you know, that's a safe place. Mm -hmm. He can, you know, just mm -hmm. relax. I'll take care of him. Like that's I love fine. those womanly roles. So I agree with you. In awesome. that sense. Yeah. I agree. I'm pretty traditional. Yeah. I agree traditional. too. Yeah. And I think like I'm from Eastern Europe. It's normal for a girl like us that we are always spoil our mm. boyfriend mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm cooking i'm cleaning every day i do everything for my boyfriend mm -hmm. so it's natural that i did think that i uh, work for only fans that doesn't mean that i didn't do something with like this at home you know what i mean do you worry that doing only fans might prohibit you from finding a worthy husband in the future i don't think so it's under a fake name I can delete everything and everyone fights so hard to be relevant on social media so the second I stop trying to be relevant I won't be. But why do you feel like you would need to do under a fake name? Because oh well I don't want it to come back on my family. I don't want my parents yeah. to get mean messages. Mm -hmm. or no 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 my face is on there but I just think it's you know I don't want people finding my parents address stuff like that like I just don't yeah. think that's safe. It's safer to have a fake name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think there was a point, like, that's why it took me so long to mm -hmm. make an OnlyFans because I think I was thinking about, you know, how would my family take this? Like, you know, a potential partner. I still, you know, I keep it spicy, but like, it's still, you know, I'm not doing any porn or anything. So I think I probably, what would the word be? Like, excuse it? Like, oh, okay. Like, it's okay because I'm not doing porn, right. you know? But I could see how some men could probably not want to be with a girl who does OnlyFans, and that's completely respectable. I completely understand that, and I just think that those kind of men probably just aren't men that we're aligned with. Like, I probably just wouldn't be with a man who thinks that OnlyFans girls are fucking sluts and, you know, deserve nothing. Like, I would probably end up with a man who is a lot more open-minded and, you know, can see the possibilities and opportunities that come with making a lot of money from OnlyFans. I know a lot of girls, like, a lot of girls who make OnlyFans money, like, are traditional women and they like to take care of their man and you know and they invest in other things like this isn't something that i plan to do forever and i'm sure some of the girls that do it know that they can't do it forever either would you be okay like just serving a husband and living that more traditional lifestyle sound like pleasant to you